In this video, we're going to start looking at Google Apps Script. Now, Apps Script is an amazing functionality that sits at the back of Google Workspace that you may not know about. And really what we're going to be looking at over the next course of videos is Google Apps Script within Google Sheets. And this can perform automations, it can connect to APIs, and I think it's going to be really important when it comes to using the Google APIs for generative AI. So let me just dig in and show you a few examples. And then after that, in this video, we'll teach you how to write your first app script function, and then how to trigger that through a time based trigger, through creating a custom menu on your Google sheet, or creating a button that can run that function. So let's dig into a couple of examples. First, the first example I'm going to show you is getting YouTube stats from the API. So in this example, I've got a couple of my YouTube links in here. I've created a menu and I've created functions in app script. I can get my YouTube stats that will run a script and that will give me my YouTube stats out here. So this is connecting to an API based on what's written on the left hand side and running that through a menu. This also sends an email and the email looks like this. So I have a stock performance portfolio here. And what this will do is this will just send an email on stock performance and you can trigger this on a weekly, daily, monthly basis. So I'm just going to send an email to myself. Let's finish the script. And when I go to my email, I have that stock performance there in percentages. And what's at the back of both of these is app script. So app scripts available within the extensions within Google Sheets. So I go in here, click on app script. And in app script, I can see a big old script here. And this is what is getting essentially the stock performance and then sending an email. But we won't go that complicated today. Today, I just want to show you how to get started. Let's open up a spreadsheet from scratch and do a very simple function to get started. So this function is going to be just inserting a date. So we're just going to call this insert date. And I want to go to my extensions and go to my app script. And this is what the app script UI looks like. A couple of things to get around. So code.js is where you will write your functions. And then in here you'll have triggers. So you can set a function on a time basis or set a function on a change basis. And um, you also have your execution details. Um, and then you can also in here add different libraries and services. So essentially I can add, this is where I would have got my UP, YouTube API data from, lots of different APIs in this that we can use. But we can also use things like generative AI, um, URLs and endpoints. And we'll be going through that in a later video. So just a very simple function to get started. I just want to insert a date. And this is my function to insert the date. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm setting a sheet to spreadsheet.getActiveSpreadsheet.getActiveSheet and that will just get the active sheet from your notebook. I'm going to set a cell equals A1, which is going to be my cell here. Actually, I'm going to set that to, let's set that to B2, just so we can get a date out in there. And then for the cell, I'm going to sell dot set value new date. And there's a couple of different ways to run this. So I've saved it and I can run it from the script itself, or I'll show you three ways to run this within the workbook. So if I just run that, this for the first run, it'll ask me to log into my Google account to make sure I've got all the accesses to this particular script. And you will see this screen before the you deploy the app. This is fine. Just go into advanced, go into go to whatever your project is called and allow that to run. And once you've signed in here, the execution will start and the execution will complete. And you can see there that I have a date in here and I have a time. And I'm just going to change this to date time so we can see that this is actually getting updated all the time. So great, I can run this now from the script, but I want to run this from a number of different places. So the first thing I can do is I can set a time based trigger. 
So in triggers in here, I can add a trigger. So it's going to add a trigger down here. And it'll ask me, choose what function you want to run. I want to run the insert date function. Um, you can do a from spreadsheet event source time driven or from calendar. I'm going to do a time driven. I'm going to set this to run every minute just to show you how it updates. So I've set this to run every minute. I'm going to press save in here. And you can see this is now changed and it will change every single minute. So that's probably not the best way to do this. So I'm going to show you two other ways to do triggers in here. So I'm going to go in and just delete this trigger because I don't want it running every, um, I don't want to run in every minute. And I'm going to show you two more ways. The first way is with some code um, to put a menu on top of the spreadsheet. So back into my code here, I've created a function called onOpen, and this will run every time the spreadsheet is open. So this is boilerplate code. I'm going to put these two code snippets in GitHub and put a link for that down below if you're interested in running these yourself. So this function is going to be called onOpen. I'm going to get a spreadsheet app.get UI. And then I'm going to ui.createMenu and I'm going to call this Adam's menu, right? So what this will do is this will create a new menu up the top of the spreadsheet. I'm going to add an item called insert the date. That's going to be the name of the menu. And then I'm going to say the function I want um, to run when I click that button, then add that to UI. So back into my spreadsheet here, I'm just going to click refresh. And then that function will run on open and you can see Adam's menu in here. And then I can just click insert the date and you'll see that date has changed there. The last thing I'm going to show you today is how to trigger a function on a button. So for this, you need to go into insert and you need to go to drawing and you can draw whatever you want here and we can trigger an event on this drawing. So I'm just going to draw a box in here. So I'm going to save and close this. And then I have a button in here. I can move around the place. We can go into these three dots here and assign a script. So I'm going to assign a script. Then I'm going to insert that date. I'm going to press OK. Now that's assigned to the button. And I can just run the script. And you see that has changed as well. So I hope you found that useful. This was just a pure intro into App Script, how to write your first function and how to trigger that function. The code for this is sitting out on GitHub. The link is down below and I'll see you next time for another App Script tutorial.